Hi guys, we've been given a question here today which involves approximations using calculus. The question says we've got a radius of a sphere that's measured to be 5 metres plus or minus 10 centimetres. We're asked to find the approximate percentage error of the calculated volume of the sphere. So the calculated volume of the sphere we're going to denote V and the percentage error as a decimal of the calculated volume of the sphere is going to be denoted as follows. We're going to have the incremental or delta V, the incremental change in volume over the sphere's volume. And if you wanted that as a percentage, you would just times it by 100. Okay, so that's what we're looking for as a value in the end. So we'll just put that to the side. So the way we're going to start this is we're going to use the uh, approximation relationship using calculus. So what we're going to say is the incremental change in volume divided by the incremental change in radius can be approximated by the actual change in volume, the derivative of the change in volume with respect to the change in radius, evaluated at the initial radius we'll call it r equals a. And here we've got the radius equaling 5 metres. So here a is equal to 5. So what we're going to do is we can find the incremental change in volume by taking the incremental change in radius and moving it over to the other side because we've been given the incremental change in radius. So what we can do is we can rearrange this formula to look like this. The incremental change in volume can be approximated by the derivative of volume with respect to radius evaluated at the radius is equal to a times the incremental change in radius that we have here. So this dr is going to be equal to 10 centimeters. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to evaluate um, dv dr. So we know, well hopefully you know, that the volume of a sphere is equal to 4 pi r cubed divided by 3. And so if we were to differentiate this with respect to radius, we would be left with, so we've got dv dr, we would be left with 3, 3, 4, 4 pi r squared. Great. So if we substitute this in for dv dr here, we're going to be give we're going to have the relationship the incremental change in volume is approximated by 4 pi r squared times dr. So now the clincher in this question is what, how, I mean, we get from delta v to delta v over v or the a percentage error that the question is asking for. Well, what we're going to do is like we uh, would with any kind of algebra question, we're just going to add um, the vo vo volume, sorry, stutter, the volume symbol to both sides. Because if we add it to this side and we add it to this side, it's basically like timesing both sides by 5. It's not going to change the outcome of any of our variables. So what we're going to do is we're going to just divide this side by V and we're going to divide this side by V. So on this side, we've got Delta V over V, so that's our percentage change. But over this side, this looks a little bit rank, to be honest. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix it up a little bit. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to exchange the volume a symbol for what the volume is actually represented by, which is 4 pi r cubed over 3. So we're going to have 4 pi r squared times 
a delta R divided by 4 pi R cubed on 3. So what you guys will hopefully be also aware of is that division is simply multiplication by the reciprocal. So what we're going to do that as well, we're going to multiply both of these by the reciprocal and we're going to get delta V over V is equal to 3 times the top. So we've got 3 bracket 4 pi R squared times delta R divided by 4 pi R cubed. So we're left with this. We can multiply out the top and we can see if it cancels with the bottom. So what we're left with is we're going to be left with the 4s from the top and the bottom, I'll just change colour, are going to cancel. We've got this and this. The pi's will also cancel. Both r squareds will cancel with, with two of the r's there, so we're left with just one r. And we'll have the 3 remaining in the top times dr. So, what we've got now is we're left with the percentage change in volume can be approximated by 3 times delta R over R. So what we've got here is the incremental change in radius over the radius or the percentage change in radius. So what we're going to do finally is we're going to substitute in the values that we have. So the incremental change in radius is going to be 10 centimetres. And the actual radius is going to be 5 metres. So we're going to put these both into centimetres. And we're left with delta V over V is approximately 3 times... 10 centimetres over 500 centimetres, which is equal to 30 over 500, which is equal to 3 over 50, which is finally equal to, now I'll put an arrow, I've just run out of space, so we can finally say worst arrow ever we can finally say that delta V over V is equal to 3 over 50 which is 0 0.06 uh, so the approximate percentage error of the calculated volume of the sphere is plus or minus six percent. So I hope that video helped. It's basically the same sort of method each time you find a formula that links the uh, the variable that you're looking for with the variable that you're given and then you substitute in the variable once you've linked them and then you just use a little bit of algebra to cancel down and solve in the end. So I hope the video helped and I'll uh, see you again next time.